All right, so I'm sharing, I'm recording. Now, I put all my bazillions of applications over on the side, and that's where I have Illustrator. Uh, if you've downloaded Illustrator, it is, there it is. Uh, it's going to be in the file applications. So there's all these Adobe things I've got. So if I go to Illustrator, I double click on it. And you can see over on the left hand side, it's bouncing that says it's opening. Uh, hopefully everybody has seen the penguins. And the thing about Illustrator is Illustrator is what is called vectors. It is for doing very simple colors. It is, it is not like Photoshop. It is not completely photographic. That's even why that's the example is because it is meant to keep files small and it is, it is meant to keep files small by making them single color and line based. So if I go to open, I'm now going to go into where I keep all my stuff. Okay, and I'll show you the example first. So you can see that this file says it's a PDF, okay? But PDFs will open in Illustrator and it should and have the most important thing, okay? Uh-oh. All right, so this is a good thing to see. Unfortunately, that picture of me was a linked file, okay? Uh, and instead of when something is a linked file, it has to stay with it. And when you create a PDF, it kind of holds it. When I try to open here, it won't. So well, let's see all the things that aren't going to show up. And I'm going to ignore them. Okay. So I'm not sure why that linked file was what it was asking for. Uh, it appears I turned everything into a yeah. Okay, into an object. So these. So we look here, and what's going on over here on the right hand side? These are layers. The most important window you open is your layers window. Now, mine is set up and organized. My window is set up and organized in the way that I like. So I've saved it. But if I go to, wait, I haven't done this in a long time. Let's go window. And I could do, if you go to workspaces, okay, it gives you some options of type of workspaces. So let me change mine. I'll just go to essentials. If you open yours, if you open your workspace, so you're under window, you go to workspace and I go to essentials. You can see, okay, now all of our, all of our workspaces should look the same as long as you're in essentials and you can see over on this side okay there is the tab for layers up at the tab for layers i can see all of my layers all right now some interesting things when we build we build out in layers so that we know where things are okay so if i take this Okay, I've got so many layers. That mark right there tells me that's what I chose. Okay, so I have used, sorry, I need to make this small. 
And you guys can slow me down. This is second nature to me. Okay, so if I'm moving too fast, okay, because it is very important to have these tools over here. Okay, now I have selected, you can see with all those boxes, I have selected a whole bunch of things with one click, but there it is right there. Now, just looking at, at layers, if I turn the eyeball off, okay, so these part here, I make it not visible. And when I bring it back, there it is. So in terms of selection, I can select that whole thing again just by clicking there. I can click on or I can, if I just come back over here, I click off of it, but if I click on it. Now, one of the most kind of interesting things to me, and it took me a while to really fully understand, is that selection tool is the black arrow. So you can see there, it's a black arrow. And there it is, it's the very top one. It's the most important one in the setup. If I switch to a white arrow, okay, I'm looking over here at your machine. So I'm thinking, why doesn't everybody download these PDFs? I'll give you a minute to do that. And then you can open it and we can be working on exactly the same file. So I'll give you guys a minute or two. And if you can't figure out how to open it, I can come over and help you. So you go into the discussion board and just on the, on the for the forum, you click on the PDF, uh, then you download it to your computer and then you open it through Illustrator. So there's a few steps involved. Okay, so everybody give that a try, give that a start. I'll walk around the room, see what you're doing after I get a drink of water. Now you see, for me, this is not something I would have seen sitting in my house and you sitting in your house. Okay. That's the other one, but that's okay. Huh? Okay. You don't have to. Okay. So go to work here with the go to work. Uh, Workspace, you can go up one right there. So go to my center. So, all right, so go to window. Whoa, where did it go? It was there for a second. No, that's my view. Maybe grab the corner. Thank you. 
Hello, sir. Sir, yes, I'm sure I have uh, trouble in my uh, internet connection. I gotta be closer. You wake uh, me absent. So then this one. See, once we're in it, it doesn't matter. I did hear you. On Apple or, or computer. Once we're in the application, it shouldn't matter. Because I've done it on both. So it just took me a while to find it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. We'll work on that in a minute, then. Yeah, that's interesting. That okay, I can tell you why, but okay, what was the question from at home? So I'm sure do you make me absent? I didn't have the internet. Now I call my salat, so they uh, solve the internet. Sorry about this. Oh, okay. I'm less worried about that. Okay. Okay. I'm sure. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Okay. Okay, so did you download it on from did you download it from the from the internet? So go to your browser. Safari. No, 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 Safari. Now go to the class page, uh, Blackboard. Go to Blackboard. Yeah, go to discussion. Go to there it is. Now click on that down there. Yeah. Now that's going to open it. So that opened it. Okay. So now what you want to do? You're still in Safari. Okay. That's so weird. Uh, how do you? What's the share button? Can you, how do you download things off of there? Because mine just asks me to. No, you don't want that one. Sorry. Click on the, the long one. Yeah, it was this one. Okay. No. All right. You need to stay there. Click on it again, or it'll take us there. Now, okay. Be good. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Okay. So it's just stick there. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There it is. There it is. Sorry. Go down there. No, no, no. Take your mouse down. Now go to the right. There. Uh, that one. Download. The download one. Okay. 
in that number. Okay, I don't know. Okay, so that's not downloaded. Anybody know how to download stuff into a PDF and Safari? Sorry, I use Chrome. Thanks. So why don't you what I'm gonna try to remember two. Pardon me? Yeah. Okay. With two views. Okay. Why don't you download mine? Can you download mine for a second just to see? Because I'll be curious about if you use your phone up there. That, I that, did that this huh? I did this no, 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 you don't have to read that. Just leave it there. It'll stay. It'll get a tab. Trust me, it'll stay. So go to go to the web browser if you don't. Did you download mine? Okay, so go 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 online to your browser, whichever one you use, just like you use so far. And then oh, yeah, go into Blackboard. Yeah, sorry. Uh, start by opening mine because it's like super complex. See, and like hers came up, she has her own, we came up in Eric's. So I'm having her open mine as well, so that I can answer a question. Because all the settings on mine, I'm never going to open. Nothing's ever going to open in Arabic, and if it opens in Arabic, I know exactly what. But hers might be different, <laughs> so I'm just testing. And hers could be like yours. Right. Huh? One more time. How can you do what? Oh, okay. So, so you need to download it. Okay, click on that one. So, there you go. Download. There you go. Then, wherever it is. So go to where it is in the finder, go to finder. Probably download. Well, recent, there you go, click with it. Can you click and hold on to that? Yeah, because you want to open. No. See, it'll default to open in preview. So now go here and say open. Uh, was that recent? Go up to recent. Yeah, where go to recents, it'll show up. There you go. And then go open. Say yeah. Yeah, no. No, 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 go place. Cancel. Because it's actually not even necessary. There you go. Slow there. I hope everybody. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? Your picture's okay. Okay. Now here, click on. Go into yours while people are trying to get open. Click on it. Click on the text. All right. Now, what I want you to do is. Uh, Huh? Oh, this is interesting. All right, so then we're going to go. Yeah. 
this is going to show me new ones. All right, so that says, and then we'll see if we change it. I don't know. The name is divided into pieces. See, because numbers, we get in we get troubled with numbers all the time. Did it ask you about a font when you don't know? Let's close it. And we're not going to say anything. I don't want to mansplain because we do seem to know what's going on. Okay. These fonts are in Creative Cloud. Okay, so they're available to you for free. Okay, so now maybe it'll be okay. Or if it not. No, see, because it's no, it's something else, because it's not worse. It just doesn't like it. <laughs> yeah, that can be in the sub so window. See, that's not coming to me, so I don't. Right. Oh, okay. That's what it's telling me. Okay. So this is okay. We'll just go to the worst one. No, it's still not working. Yeah, it's confused, and I don't know why. So at least I can say that safely. But I'm going to show you how to work around it a little bit. And I'm not. I hopefully you know that. And it looks like the stuff over there disappeared. So. <laughs> Okay, so everybody kind of open. Okay, so now I'm going to continue. Okay, so what I wanted to show you, so this is the black arrow is, is, is the selection tool. And whenever I'm talking about this, I will always talk about the black arrow because it's the black arrow and the white arrow. Okay, they're both selection tools. Black will select whatever's in a group. So that face you can kind of tell is a group of a whole bunch of different pieces. All right, maybe this is too complex to start out with, except so, so when I use the black arrow, if I click off of it, it selects all of those things. If I switch to the white arrow, It selects just a small piece. And if we look in here, you can see it's only selected one small piece. There's that one small piece. And whoa, okay, we're not even there yet. It's that circle right there. Okay, these are all layered. And I know that it, it, it looks a little intimidating. But these actually empower you to do very cool things. Okay, I, I, I get that that's not totally translated at this minute. But here, like I can see there that that's the hair. So if I click there, I get the hair. Okay, 
And even I can open that with this arrow and I can see that has three different parts. So there's the gray part or the really gray part, the less gray part and the kind of blonde part. Sound like my real hair. Okay. So you can select using layers or you can select using arrows. Now, why would I want to select? So let me just select the blonde part. Okay, so over here, you will notice that there's these two squares. And that's, that's showing me, if I double click, that's showing me what that color is. If I want to change that color, I'm changing it in the color picker. And I've changed it in the picture. All right. So the other thing is the, the key strokes you've learned are Command Z, right? Undo. Uh, computer scientists thought they were geniuses when they invented Command Z. Undo. So I can always undo that under Edit. I just do Undo. And so that's a way I can change colors if, okay, there, there it is. I can choose one of my eyes. There's an eye. Okay, this isn't gonna work, that's no, I'm never gonna see it. All right, never mind. I can take anything and I can change its color. All right, so what I want you to do now so everybody kind of gets selection and that because the next tool is actually if so let's say I go back to the, the black now fortunately that's sitting there that is a text field you can't do this in Photoshop you can do this in Illustrator which is to work on text right on the document Okay, that, it's just too many steps in Photoshop for me. I'm on it, and if I, I'm on it right now, if I click it twice, you can see that I am now, I now have the need for my glasses. I now have all my keyboard, okay? He teaches. Okay. So once you have the blinking cursor, it's like you're in Word. Okay. It's like you're in any functional thing. And I can type in that box. So what I want you guys to do with this horrible introduction, can you guys now open the example, the, the one with descriptions? Okay, open the second one, and it looks like this. With descriptions. Okay. Okay, and then what I want you to do is to go into here. Now you can also select this text tool over here with T. So, so everything in Photoshop and Illustrator both, you have five, a minimum of five ways to do anything. Okay, so you can be on the black arrow with mine, or what you do, the white arrow is good for this. You click on here. Okay, great. That's the text box. I double click and then I've switched to the T. Now, if I'm on the white arrow and I haven't selected and I know I want to do this, I can also go 
straight to the T and put it over this because it gives me the the, the word cursor. I don't know, the, the cursor ball. Okay, that blinks. So what I want you guys to do is to highlight that whole thing and then type in your personal information. Actually, let's make it simpler first. Okay. What I want you to do is to switch what you've highlighted. Okay. And this says person are so. I'm on the white. I whoops. I click there. So I've clicked up there, even though you can't see it very well. Uh, I double click, and now I've got the cursor bar. I pull across this whole thing and I type in my name. So type in your name. And then I can delete what's after it. Now, one thing I want you to see with this while you're doing it is if I go on to these smaller letters and I do my name again, it is going to hold on to the font that is there, the letters, the size, the style, everything about it. I know we haven't gone over that yet. Okay. So what I do is then I delete this part. Now, I personally would want to keep this file available to me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to save my new version. I'm just going to say file save as. All right. And I'm going to say with this actual and I'm going to just type in the word demo. So now you're working on a new file and the old file. So you're going to save it. Yeah, save it as a PDF, preserve Illustrator capabilities. And there you save it. OK. So here you can use this because it's describing to you. So as long as you understand, you don't even have to fully understand layers at this point that as long as you can type in words and things, okay, you can work from that and type in words. Now, there are, there are reasons to understand your layers, okay? When we look at the personality, the aesthetic preferences, and the touch points. So if you guys remember, yesterday I said that Facebook should be zero. So first thing is, yikes, that's not going to help me, and it's not what I want to work with. So I'm going to take the black selection tool. If I take the black selection tool there, what I can show you is, there it is, that's the object, okay? Ellipse means a circle. So with the black one, I can move it to zero. Doesn't have to be perfect, but... If I had my keyboard, I'd use the arrows and strip it out. So there, I can say that zero, we got radio zero. Okay, I'm gonna give myself, whoops. See, if I, if I click on the whole thing. So what you do is if you make a mistake and I click here, you need to click off of it somewhere. So I always take the arrow there. Then I try and I come back there. We can always zoom in if you want and see the, whoops. Okay, and if the unbelievable thing here is with, with Illustrator is no matter how much I zoom in, it doesn't lose any detail, you actually start to see how that eye is made.
but it doesn't mush out. We're not seeing, we're not seeing the dots. We're not seeing the pixels. So almost, so virtually, it's it's infinitely sized because it's it's based on mass, it's based on vectors, not on actual pictures. You're creating the picture. Okay. And if I want to take this back to normal 100 percent because right now this tells us we're on 13,000 percent. That is what that says, isn't it? Yeah, that says we're on 13,450.35 percent. Okay, if I want to go back to normal, I double click and there I'm back to normal. Okay. Uh, Etc. So, sorry. so this is the one I'm working on now. I'm going to take it back to normal. Now, let's just say for a moment. So, I've shown you you can deal with text, and I, I put Russell B. Williams up there. I put my name. I hopefully you've seen you can move those circles around once you're an illustrator. I'm not asking you to do super complicated things. And always remember, okay, if you click on the wrong thing and it gets bent out of shape somehow, okay, that you can always undo. So I showed you clicking the circle with the black air. Whoops. Okay, so you see that? That happens to me all the time. I just moved it. I don't want to move it. It throws everything off. Edit, undo. Okay. So I want to be sure to click in the right place. So I'll click over here. Then I click there. And it moves. Now, just to show you what happens, if I click with the white arrow on here. Okay. First of all, I clicked on the text line. So I clicked in the wrong place. Click off. Okay, what you see is I now get a more many more things than if I click with the black. If I click back to the black, I get the black. If I click here, I got I've got the, the white arrow back. But see, I can do things like that. This is what the white arrow does. It allows you to grab the little squares, the anchor points. If you wanted to, and to do totally ridiculous things. Now, one of the another very cool thing in Illustrator is that undo is nearly infinite. You can go through and make 18 mistakes. You just keep doing undos and it undo, it undoes every one of those in order to take you back to your original place. So it doesn't take as much memory. So I've zoomed in and I've done that. So hopefully you got a little sense of that. You got a little of the black arrow. You've got a little sense of the white arrow and you've got text and we're just keeping it simple right now. So this is a, a little easier than some of the things you did. Now, if you wanted to put the picture in there, now I made my picture. I believe it was in Bitmoji and if you just wanted to grab a photograph, I just want to show you how easily this works in, okay, it, how easily this works. So I'm just going to go uh, old white guy. Okay. Oh gosh, seriously. Boats, boat, there must be another one. Maybe there's not, uh, that looks like a boat. Yoo okay, oh look, I can look like Joe Biden. Okay, so now I switch back to English. I'm gonna go to images, I'm gonna see all these images. I guess I'm not as old as I think I am. He's like almost 90 or something, isn't he? The president of the United States. 
Uh, here we go. This guy looks younger. I like this guy. Here. That's a real old white guy. Uh, I don't know what to do. Okay. So, oh, that's huge. Okay, that's good. So what I'm gonna do is I can, okay, if I, if I right click in the picture here, I can save the image. So all I'm gonna, sorry, I can copy the image. So I'm just gonna copy the image. All right, when I come over here, back over here, it's now sitting in the clipboard. So what I'm going to do is go to the top, edit, and I'm going to paste the paste, just paste the image. And see, that's huge. But what I've got are these handles. So I've got a couple options of what I can do. Uh, what I can do is switch to this tool. And you can see that I can now grab it. And I could essentially fit it right there. Now, does anybody see the problem with this? Okay, there is a problem with it. I've squished it and destroyed the perspective. Okay, uh, you guys are going to be going up when you're doing your posters. You have to keep this in mind when you're bringing photos in. Now, this guy, we're not that familiar with this image. If you had a picture of the mosque, if you had a picture of Burj Khalifa, if you had a picture of your own house or a person in your family, you start doing this, you know that looks wrong. And for the most part, I know when it looks wrong. Okay, because he's now become super skinny, the whole background. It's actually a very deep, nice picture, but it doesn't fit there. So this wouldn't be my choice. Now, when we first came in to this file, come up to the, the, the example one, it asked me for a linked file that wasn't even there. But this, because I pasted it directly in, is not linked. It is in the file, okay? A linked file would be that I left this picture somewhere else, and then I asked the program to link it. You know, I, I don't know very many purposes for that, unless you're making a very high-end magazine. Okay, because that would then need your picture uh, super giant in terms of pixel depth. So what you want to do is find a picture that's right, or like if you generate one, uh, I'm very sure that Bitmoji picture I've got that is in vector form, that's how I outputted it from the avatar creator. It gave me the option to do it as EPS, maybe Illustrator, or SVG. Okay, because there's a V in it, that means it's vector. Okay, any one of those is completely acceptable in, uh, in Illustrator. In fact, you can see a JPEG is also completely acceptable, but I don't have any control over it. Okay, the control comes over a picture like this in Photoshop, not in Illustrator. Okay, but if I bring it in, in a vector form like like my other one then i have more control over it and i can take the background out and i can do other things and i can try to make it uh, look cool in that square but the other part is okay try to make it as proportionally correct as you can i think if i go back over if if I go back over, I don't need my glasses this far away. Okay. If I come back over here, uh, I think this is meant to be ironic, right? 
Okay, never mind. Maybe I'm the only guy getting that. So, ooh, this guy looks professorial, right? Dead old white guys are on the right. Okay, so now this is a 170 by 170. So I'll just copy it, but this is super small. So I'll copy the image. I'll come back over to Illustrator. I'll do edit and paste. And you can see that it's, it's much smaller. It could sort of work, but what is going to happen? Well, we'll just look at it for a second. Huh? Yeah, it's going to actually, it's going to pixelate. Uh, just because I'm being lazy at this point and don't want to go to Photoshop. I know that one's very close. What I want to do is put these two pictures together. So right now on a screen, it's not a problem. And we're going to be working on a screen, so it's probably not a problem. The other thing Illustrator was created for was actually for creating things to print. Okay. And so it is sensitive to these things. Let me see if it's going to make an adjustment for this because Photoshop has gotten better. 170 by 170 is incredibly small. Okay. In terms of. Okay. There, it's it's exemplifying exactly what I wanted it to do. Do you remember how big the picture of that guy was? It was like a thousand pixels across. Okay, that was one seventy by one seventy. So you see what happened? This one, it would be this is completely unacceptable if I printed it. When we see it on the screen at a hundred percent. We don't have any issues with it. It looks nice. It, I was kind of wow, that looked okay. But once we get in deeper, and when you print, and even if I look at it bigger, I'm going to see it pixelated. That's horrible in the modern day. So what we see is, even though I manipulated this guy, that picture has a lot farther to go, right? In terms of how far I can uh, get into it, and in fact. That would be a great picture for printing. So whoever made that available on the internet has made it available on the internet. And probably what I would say, because I wish I looked as good as that guy looked to me, I would crop it if I was going to use that picture. But if that was your audience, okay, that guy looks angry anyway, and I'm not bald yet, okay? But what you can see is, in the pixelation there, this is a, a blurry background and it's not pixelated. Uh, if I bring him over a little bit, oh, cool, he's going to go behind. All right. Because remember, the reason is why is he behind? Because everything comes in in layers. All right. So he was, this guy was the first guy. Then I paste it. So he went at the top up there. So you can see it. He's selected and the red dot is activated over there and later. The second guy I brought in is this guy. Okay. And he even has, okay. So what you can see is it came in in layers. So he covers up everything underneath it. Whatever's at the top covers up everything that's below. Okay, that's the importance of light. But you can see you have to be conscious of how deep those pictures are. Now I'm thinking of this because what I want you guys to do is to try if you can get together in your groups and start developing this for your audience, for your client. The idea would be through discussions with your client, you would bring your expertise on audiences. So here's an example. This is a real life example. So my daughter works for a politician in America. The politician in America is my age, and he thinks he can be continue to be reelected 
by talking to people like me. Because that's who's elected him over the years. What my daughter is saying, okay, as she works for him, but if she was a consultant, she'd say the same thing. But the point is, if you want to keep being reelected, old people are going to die. Old people aren't going to vote. You need to get young people. So with her expertise in communication, she's saying we need to get younger people in your area than where they vote for him, interested in him. He needs to talk to them. They need to be that first person in the conversation. So in the sense, she's trying to say to him, this is what we need to do. This is the audience we need to advertise to, to communicate with. He doesn't see it because he's like so old. He doesn't, he's not, I mean, he's not so, so old, but he's stuck in his ways and he doesn't understand that the future is young. Okay, the future, if he wants a future, he needs to be, think young. So in the same way, you're saying to your coffee spot, okay, this is who you guys are. This is what you're doing. And you're deciding, do, do, does your client need to speak more to the people that are coming in or for them to continue to exist? Who's that? Who are the new people they need to talk to? Who are the, the new people they need to invite into the experience that you're going to create? So you're saying to them, okay, we get this is your audience. They're already sold. What we need to do is reach out to a wider area. We need to reach out to a neighbor, to a different neighborhood. We need to reach out to the other people walking around the mall. Okay. So it's that. And so you are hopefully bringing them an idea. If your idea about an audience, you're bringing to them some sense of that. Saying, okay, I understand audiences. I get the audience you're reaching because I go there and I am them. But are there more of me to be found, or do we need to go look at a new place? Those are both legitimate answers. So you need to decide what that is, and you need to create a personality for that person. So I'm showing this to you for a couple of reasons. This is knowledge you need to have about bitmaps. And about resolution, sorry, I've switched to technical now. Because it's going to impact your poster and things like that. When you bring objects into your poster that even you photograph, if they look like that, that's not good. I'm telling you right up front, that's Mark's falling. I can hear them falling like water over the side of a mountain. Okay? Okay. So, all right. But also, I'm trying to get you to think about the notion of audience. And there is just something about seeing it in a picture that we learn a lot about our, about other people. And I think even for Emirati culture, you guys are super visual. Uh, it is about that. You're, you generally, okay, I'm making stereotypes, okay? The these are meant to be positive. You have really good instincts about reading faces. I was told when I came here, the one decent piece of advice I got from an old racist British guy who was trying to teach us how to engage with you. How stupid is that? Okay, I just don't understand. But what he said is the students will know if you like them within 10 minutes. Absolutely true in every way. I took it to heart and I understood it and I've continued to communicate it to other people when they're new here. What that says is you look at people and you understand things about them, their motives, etc. I mean, this one class I was in, I was sitting there being very calm and there was another guy presenting. I really disliked it profoundly. And I was trying not to undermine the situation, and I was sitting quietly. And I thought I had a very neutral look on my face. 
He left. The students who were wise students said, Sir, sir, why do you hate me so much? I'm like, what did I do? So what I'm saying is, in every instance, you guys have confirmed to your brothers, sisters, aunts, uncles, cousins, fathers, mothers, have confirmed to me that it, that that you guys get that. And that's actually a gift. That's a fantastic thing to be able to do. I wish I had it. Okay? So even though some girls get to my office and I get angry and they don't seem to understand that thing. Because that one for me is really obvious. But I do try to be my own. Okay? So using that picture, we want the picture to be good enough. So technologically, but we also want the picture to be representative of your person. That all the other stuff you say makes sense with that picture. And that's why you want to try to get a picture that's probably not somebody that everybody knows. So you can probably find if, if it was an Emirati person, I would imagine the first 20 pictures of an Emirati female are probably an influencer. Okay? So the point is, don't make it that because if the picture looks like someone that people know, they go, oh, that's what's her name? Sorry, I'm horrible with names. I, I do know exactly who I'm talking about. I could describe to you exactly how she dressed six, seven years ago on National Day. She wore brown and she had like these funky gentleman glasses that she had sitting down low here. And her name is like a T or something. She's like, she's huge. I mean, it was like, it was like a rock star. With you. And, but, and then like the husband and wife, I think one of their kids is autistic on the spectrum, maybe. Okay, so I can tell you all this information about the people. I just can't tell you the name. That's kind of nothing. Okay, so do you guys feel like you have a, a little bit of enough in Illustrator to get started on that? Yes. Okay. Yeah. The audience know that it was a copy or just creating the audience. That's your choice. Okay, but if you look at it, and if you feel like, okay, so in the question of advertising to an audience, communicating with an audience, the question is, are there more people in, in those people who've already come there? Are there more people? You know what? Let me let me change what I'm saying. While that's very true, why don't you start there? Because then we can have a discussion about your group and on. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So so make a profile. Yeah, let's do it that way. You're making my other class much shorter. Okay. And make a profile of the people who are going. Who is who is a key person? That represents the people there who are going in there. Then I will ask you the question Can you reach more people in that audience? Or do you need it? You see what I'm saying? So it's not wasted work at all. So maybe it ends up, or maybe you say, or maybe I convince you that something different would be a better idea because we have to talk about it. And I'm kind of standing in, but even if you go to the place, I would like you to talk to people at your places, which is part of the reason I like it small. You can say you're working on five to class or whatever. And if they're nice, I don't even know if you get to see the managers, but if they're nice, they might want to see what you did. Make sure if they use it, you get paid. Okay, never mind. But it, you know. It has to be about a conversation. So start with what you're working on. It are the people who are currently in the audience, in the clients, in the customer pool that go to that coffee spot. And then we'll, then we'll see if that can expand or not. Okay? Does that make sense? Does everybody feel like they can get it? And it feels like if a couple of you have some good knowledge, you can maybe be on the WhatsApp group and help out the classmates and hopefully I'll show you a little something 
I'm still getting used to being back here, and I'm having like the best week that I've had in two years. So, okay. But does that make some sense? Uh, and I'll work this out more. I'll have a people with uh, this. Okay. So, so the next activity I'm going to put up there is for you as groups to come up with one of these documents for yeah 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 in this yeah in your posters no I'm gonna have limits you're gonna use your own photos or you're gonna use other stuff for the next activity I go online and take it yeah, yeah, I'm telling you specifically because this is not something you're selling in the sense. Those pictures are out there, that's fine. They, yeah, I don't expect you to go find a book and pick it. Or it's like, oop, you fit, you fit what I need in. Yeah, we won't even get into the legal part of So, you guys do know the law change about photos in public. This is what my, my wife told me. Because I thought, because it used to be illegal for me to just take your picture, yeah. even though you're in public, it is not legal. Really? It is. Why did they change it? Because I could get confused for it. Uh, no, there's still other laws that protect you. Yeah. Uh, it's very much so. But to just randomly take your picture, I'll get to it. What I would say is the tourists only understood, all they have to do is ask you. You guys have a, have a cultural obligation to be hospitable and nice, and you say yes. Unless you just have a bad day. Okay, but so the people don't even learn that. So, okay, so I have written it down yet. I'll put it in there. Let's see where we are on it. I, I need something for Tuesday. I, I, I would love, I, I, but at this point, I don't feel like I can force you to say it must be done, but we do also have to get started on the poster. Okay, so I need to that that is going to be a huge part of what we talk about on Tuesday. And but I also want to look at this. So we're doing a couple of things at the same time. I'm trying to maybe leave the, the 24th intact as we did, but we'll see. I'm I'm my edges aren't that sharp on that sort of thing, but I said it wasn't going well, but then I kind of looked at the camera and I, it's not horrible because then we have to move on to the next thing and the next thing. But okay, so thanks, guys. Um, I hope this makes some sense. At least you should have, even when you're talking to each other on WhatsApp, you'll have common vocabulary yeah. because we've all looked at it together. So hopefully that works. Thanks, guys. Have a good weekend. Okay, thanks online people.